Okay, so we are starting to see some mega changes in the cloud engineering job role and how that is going to be shaping up for the future. It was quite interesting, so strap in and we're going to dive right into it. Now, traditionally, you're going to have a cloud engineer, right, who's working on virtualization, storage, networking, monitoring, security, on top of all the automation tools like Terraform, maybe some Ansible. You chuck in the stuff for PowerShell, Bash, scripting. I've even just forgot identity and access, just thinking about that then. And what companies are starting to realize now is that at scale, that can become impossible to manage. Let's say you have four cloud engineers working on a team and they all have to cover those various specialty domains of cloud engineering. Now, as a company grows, it gets larger. You bring on more end users. You have to bring on more people to support these practices than a team. And um, what we're starting to see in is the cloud engineering team breaking off into these specialty areas and there's two ways that this is actually happening we're starting to see job titles called cloud network engineer and cloud security engineer now very much back in the on-prem days you had infrastructure engineers who would maybe do like the virtualization the storage you know working on stuff like vmware and hyper-v and then you would have a network engineering team and you would have a security engineering team and the reason for that is because you had so many server rooms you had like all these multiple companies would have multiple data centers for failover companies were migrating to cloud it started off quite small because it was starting off quite small there wasn't much to support but now companies are adding more workloads onto the cloud companies are getting larger they're hiring more staff and the cloud engineer they just can't keep up with this workload so by hiring someone who's a cloud network engineer maybe having two of those people you have two people who just do cloud network engineering. That is their specialty. It's a large area of cloud, whether that's on AWS, Azure, or even GCP. And they're gonna be trained on those various aspects to uh, automate the delivery of those cloud resources with Terraform, Bicep. And you know, there are so many different security services for each cloud provider, so many different ways to do things. So the security guys are handling stuff like firewalls, um, the security services, and then they're managing the identity and access. They're making things are audited and secured down correctly. Now there's the other process where companies aren't really changing people's job titles, but they're having a generalist team of cloud engineers who's good to a certain level in each domain and then they're asking their team members or hiring with the intention that they specialize in one of these areas. So let's say you have four cloud engineers, one of them will be a specialist in networking. They may have come from a network engineering background. You may have one who's a specialist in security, but they still know all the other domains. They just don't know them to that SME sort of level. Now, is this good or is this bad? It's definitely good because the specialized roles are going to end up paying you more money. So if you're good at various levels of domain and you become an expert in one level like network engineering and you're employed to do that dedicated role, it's going to end up paying you more money. Now, what companies are creating these roles? That's the big sticking point, right? Because if you're a small company, you don't need to have that many specialists. Whereas let's say you're an organization, you have 15,000 staff you've got 12 offices globally operating out of AWS, you're probably gonna want someone who's a specialty in networking. So don't expect to see this for the small to medium sized companies. The companies we're actually seeing this the most at is at the enterprise levels. So I'd say at least 10,000 staff. So it's definitely not the end of the cloud engineer. I've seen a few people say that the cloud engineering job role is like the end on YouTube. I've seen a few videos pop up on the timeline, which definitely isn't true. I think there's definitely a demand for change at that enterprise level and ultimately it's only going to benefit us and the likes of AWS and Azure they do have these specialty certifications like the network engineering one they have the security engineer these paths and these roadmaps are always built by design big companies you know the big players like Microsoft and Amazon they know companies are going to go down this route eventually so they have to be trained on it so let's say your company comes to you maybe you came originally from a network engineering background you're very good at it and they say hey we want you to pass this certification we'll give you a bonus and we'll also give you a pay rise because we want you to step into this role as the cloud network engineer for our company I think the only negative from this is that there's that even more element of pressure that if something breaks it's going to be your fault because you're the network guy or if someone gains access to a certain ec2 in aws that's going to be the security guy's fault because he's not implemented the best practice for security he's not secured that network with the network engineer working together and a bad person's got hold of something they shouldn't have people are going to start pointing fingers 
at those SMEs to say, why has this happened? How can we avoid it? Five minutes video because it's quite an interesting talking point at the moment, especially in the cloud space. A lot of people are wondering where this role is going and even myself, someone that's been working in cloud engineering, now working as a consultant. From a high level point of view, I can see what is right with the role, what is wrong with the role and how it can really improve. I actually think this is a good step for cloud engineering. And it really is where the role should be heading at that enterprise domain. You know, I've worked for companies where you're swamped with work. I've worked for some companies where there's barely any work. When you're swamped and you've got all these different domains to manage, it just becomes a pain. As always, very much thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.